the first force that is responsible for progress in the kingdom please write it is the ministry of prayer i won't talk much i will just mention them and then a word or two because i hope that we'll have some time to pray and then i speak over our lives the ministry of prayer i can spend all night and all week teaching on prayer because prayer is such a vast dimension as far as our work with god is concerned jesus had a lot to say about the ministry of prayer we are a praying people i confess as a continent and as a nation but i think the challenge with the african and the nigerian church as far as prayer is concerned is many dimensions of our prayers are praying amiss because there is a lot of dissipation of energy but very little result that comes from our prayer there is a lot of engagement but there is no intelligence that follows our prayer so we dissipate a lot of spiritual energy and we feel justified that on account of that effort that laborious effort this was what the, the this was the frustration of the apostles when they were disciples there was something about the results of jesus they saw him pray and they saw the results that backed his prayer life and they had to open up and say teach us to pray there is it was not an issue of prayerlessness it was an issue of praying without result it is it is it is painful to invest in prayer and not get results hallelujah but the ministry of prayer is one that you can never downplay and grow prayer is very important jesus had a lot to say about prayer for instance luke 18 and verse 1 the bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray so he mandates that all men pray not preachers not those in trouble not those who think they are being afflicted all men ought to pray first thessalonians 5 and verse 17 the bible says to pray without ceasing that means to be consistent in your prayer life just giving you a few scriptures hallelujah the bible says in mark chapter 11 when you read verse 24 it says verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire when not if when ye pray when ye pray it is true that prayer is not the only key of the kingdom but prayer must be involved in every process in the kingdom please listen to what i just said prayer is not cannot be the only key of the kingdom but prayer must be involved in every process of the kingdom the bible here connects desire to prayer whatsoever things what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them in james chapter 5 and verse 13 apostle james was mentoring us again in the school of prayer and he said if is any man afflicted he says let him pray then he says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much are we learning now you are not growing spiritually for sure if there is a decline in your prayer life i assure you on this if you downplay prayer and prayer becomes a necessary burden that you just have to go through you are not going to grow spiritually there is a role that prayer has to play in the growth and the maturity of the saints let me just run through four of them very quickly still on point one the first assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is for growth and transformation you may want to write it down the first assignment of prayer in your life is for your growth and transformation luke chapter 9 and verse 29 luke 9 29 the bible says and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering prayer transforms you what does that mean when you engage yourself and submit yourself to the ministry of prayer backed up by the spirit it is able to begin to open your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit the absence of discernment spiritual carelessness is a product of prayerlessness so many things happen but you have not sustained the faculty to perceive to discern hallelujah in fact the bible gives 
that one of the recommendations for getting out of temptations is to watch and pray watch means your intellect and your mind will be involved but in addition to that he says pray do not depend on your mind and your intellect alone watch and pray if you watch alone you will fall into temptation if you pray alone you might fall into temptation watch and pray is God speaking to us so the first assignment of prayer is for your growth and transformation the second assignment of prayer very quickly is for what I call spiritual legislation the ability to make decrees and to manifest possibilities in your life if you are not rich in your prayer life there are many things that will not be captured in your experience because many of those things will come through the power of decrees and creation if we are together say amen, amen. hallelujah very very important most people do not know in fact job 22 and verse 28 says it says that thou shalt decree a thing job 22 and 28 22 28 hallelujah thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established what will be established is not what you want is what you decree and you decree in prayer are we together that in the name of jesus the lord is my light and my salvation that when men say there is a casting down for me i decree and declare that there will be a lifting up is that someone's testimony so this is the year when you don't keep quiet when you hear that something is killing people a is not the response in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am covered the bible says they that dwell in the house of the lord that they shall flourish in the courts of our god is that true that even in old age they shall be fat and flourishing the assignment of prayer is to give you the responsibility of working in partnership with the spirit to design and create your possibilities do not complain about a day that you did not speak into listen listen don't assume you understood what i just said do not complain you have a responsibility the bible says this is the day that the lord has made is that true he makes the day but you now fill that day with the possibilities that you want and that happens through prayer he said has thou commanded thy morning many people are careless they stumble into days they stumble into seasons and they wonder why negative things are there when you fail to sow a seed in your farm something will still grow it is called weed agriculture defines weeds as unwanted plants they are plants but they are not wanted at least not in the farm and i will not be silent I will always worship you as long as, long as I am breathing. I gives you the responsibility to walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit January you are blessed February you are blessed I call you by your name I'm speaking about myself don't say amen for me March I declare you are blessed April May June July in the name of Jesus all that I see in my life is the glory of God I reject everything that does not carry the image of God in my life listen let me tell you the truth as childlike as this sounds many people today have fallen sadly even to the grave because they did not know that part of the responsibility of the believer is to use the creative power of god given to you through words and through the medium of prayer in partnership with the spirit did you know in ezekiel 37 he said ezekiel tell the bones to do this and the bones did not respond to the voice of the spirit 
the bones had what the holy spirit was telling ezekiel yet they did not respond until ezekiel spoke he said i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound the sound started when the man spoke not when the spirit spoke so god can say it is a great year for you if you do not speak that statement remains in the realm of the spirit he says let the redeemed of the lord say so not just hear so not just wish so let the blessed of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so let those who are flourishing by the lord say so those who are ashamed to say so are those who will be in trouble the woman said to herself if i may but touch i can't heal myself but i can speak i may have an issue of blood but not an issue of speaking hallelujah the third assignment of prayer is for warfare and intercession this is very powerful i'm not teaching on prayer but i'm just helping you i hope we're still together yes that we're discussing the forces that help us to make spiritual progress and one of them is prayer and i'm now breaking down that prayer has four assignments biblically speaking one of the assignment of prayer is for your group and transformation number two is for spiritual legislation number three is for warfare and intercession let me tell you the truth i hate i wish that i were lying but demons are real look up please wickedness is real the bible tells us without confusion that the whole world lies in wickedness i didn't trouble anybody nobody would trouble me go to heaven for as long as you are on earth the bible tells please look up look up look up i'm not being sarcastic i'm just telling you that the world is that wicked to the point that your progress will become somebody's reason for hatred why are you moving forward why does everything work out for you there were people who bound themselves in the bible with fasting that they would not eat till paul died I don't know what they did because Paul lived long after that time. Whether they broke their fast, they forgave themselves, but Paul did not die immediately. But look at that level of wickedness that people will bind themselves and say, food, go away. On That means someone can sit down and say, I don't know who owns this company, but for as long as I'm alive, I will walk in partnership with the devil to see that it's only tears that come. This is the assignment of prayer that you can redesign and redirect your possibilities and say, Satan minus me, minus your children, you decree and declare hallelujah it is true spiritual legislation and then warfare and intercession you can establish spiritual realities in your life no sickness will come and bring me down to the grave no i i have a long life to live serving the purposes of god lord you spoke to me through my pastor that i'm flourishing therefore they say that this thing affects everybody in our family but i make a decree in the name of jesus that there is a superior blood the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things even than the blood of abel and i appropriate that blood over my life and my health i will not be a victim of these demonic patterns let me submit to you hoping and wishing that one day it will magically get out of your life is a joke you will need to pray there are families where people don't rise it is true you've seen everybody you've seen those who went before you try to rise and they went down don't take for granted these forces are vicious they show no mercy it takes the ability to engage the forces of the spirit especially the forces of the blood to keep the enemy at bay god did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a structured demonic organogram paul in his exegesis began to list the cadres. he says for we do not uh, wrestle against flesh and blood is that in your bible but against what principalities powers rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness that reside in the heavenlies he now begins to teach you that jesus himself is head over principalities he recognizes their existence you are the only one who has denied it 
Jesus himself recognizes that they are there, but that you are being raised up with him above them. It is your assignment to now engage and establish that reality. Please, for someone this year, God is saying, if you keep quiet, this year will be like last year. It's time to pray and say no more. 2023, I engage, I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, my business must reveal Christ. My life must reveal Christ. Apostle, don't talk to me about last year. It was a horrible year. Don't worry. Remember you not the former things, nor consider the things of old. But it is your assignment now. Every year will be like the last, except your prayer changes it. Is someone learning? Hmm. Let me stop here so we go to the next one. That should be enough the day that we discuss prayer proper will now stretch all the dimensions i think you've had enough on prayer hallelujah that the assignment of prayer <laughs> hallelujah do i give you the last one okay so prayer is a platform for obtaining requests and granting petitions petitions and requests are granted through the medium of prayer if you do not pray there is no basis for obtaining requests what things soever ye desire mark 11 24 it says when ye pray so it is at the place of prayer we receive notice here he uses two words receive and have you only have what you have received if you have not received it you cannot have it receiving is a spiritual thing having is the manifestation we only have what we have received by faith are we together now what things soever ye desire apostle i'm trusting god for a great year i'm trusting god to lift my children you can receive answers in the place of prayer someone say in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. I, obtain grace I obtain grace to pray. pray one more time say i obtain grace, I obtain grace. To, pray. to pray you must fight prayerlessness like you fight satan you must obtain grace to wake up and pray wake up and pray wake up and pray pray as a couple pray as a business don't say we are not into this spiritual thing better be spiritual pray hallelujah wake up and pray because god is in the business of rewarding and lifting people and satan is determined like never before to bring others down you can exempt yourself through prayer. Shout amen, please. Yeah.